I welcome everyone to our God's Word Fellowship Podcast. I am Vanita Santiago. God is good and His mercy endures forever. Thank you so much once again joining our podcast. Stay with me throughout this message and God is going to speak to you through this message. Today we will be studying about the resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ. And I want to wish every one of you happy Easter. So before I get into my message, let's pray. Father, we come into your presence in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Father, you are good and your mercy endures forever. Lord, you are good and your faithfulness endures forever. You are the only one God, the living God. You are alive forevermore. You always hear our prayers and you answer our prayers because you are alive. You are hearing when we are praying. When your children are crying out, you hear them from heaven above and you give them answers and solutions and directions because you are living alive and forevermore you live forever and ever thank you father that you are a living god who abides forever and ever father today as we are going to study about the resurrection of our lord jesus christ father i pray that you teach us the importance of resurrection of our lord jesus christ in our life Father, I pray that you make us understand the power of resurrection, how it works in our life, how much it is important in our life. Father, I pray that the mighty Holy Spirit quicken the word of God in us. The mighty Holy Spirit will unveil and unfold the word of God to us, Father. Lord, I pray that you help us to open our spiritual eyes and to see all the things which our Lord Jesus Christ died to give for us. Father, we thank you so much for giving us revelation on the resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ. Father, we thank you, Lord, that you heard and answered all our prayers. In the name of my Lord Jesus Christ, I pray. Amen. Today we are going to be studying about the resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ. And the title of my message is Victory Over Death. This is not going to be a series. It will be a only one message only for this resurrection time. I'm, I will be speaking. From next week onwards, again we will continue our series on promotion comes from the Lord. So today it will be a only one message. Let's turn our text to Book of Acts. Chapter 2, verse 24. Whom God has raised up, having loosed the pains of death, because it was not possible that he should be holden of death. Here, Peter is testifying in front of big crowd, saying that Jesus is alive. You have crucified him. He was sinless and he was blameless, yet with your wicked hands you crucified him. But the, uh, Jesus whom you have crucified and God has raised him up from the dead. Because it was not possible that the death can hold Jesus. See, this is the difference about Jesus Christ and every other human being. Jesus Christ came in the flesh and died in the flesh. But only Jesus Christ did not see corruption like any other human being. We read in the Old Testament, God has promised and prophesied about our Lord Jesus Christ that he will not suffer his son so corruptible. He will not leave the soul of Jesus Christ in the hell to see corruption. God the Father had already prophesied about our Lord Jesus Christ that he is going to raise him from the dead. He will not let him corrupt in the hell. This is the prophecy about our Lord Jesus Christ and is fulfilled here when Peter is standing before people and boldly proclaiming that Jesus is alive. He is not dead. God has raised him from the dead. Why? Because the death could not hold Jesus. Every other human being, starting from Adam, everyone down to, till Jesus Christ, death reigned over every man. Nobody is exempted. Everybody died. And the, everybody was captive to death and hell. 
but the only lord jesus christ he is the first fruit of resurrection he is the first person to raise from the dead devil hasn't seen anybody rising from the dead in his lifetime see when adam transgressed against god when he disobeyed by eating that forbidden fruit according to god's commandment he transgressed he disobeyed god's commandment for disobeying that one commandment adam was destined to hell many people don't understand the uh, how costly the sin is if you transgress one commandment it's like you're breaking all the commandments and starting from adam till everyone death reigned over everyone everybody was captive to death everybody has to die why because everybody has sinned we read in romans all have sinned and come short of the glory of god everybody who died was winded up in hell was captive to death but jesus jesus was not captive to death the death could not hold jesus jesus is the first person to raise from the dead let me give you some things what happened after the death of christ on the cross now jesus remember this one more thing many people do this celebration they crucify jesus every year let me tell you something jesus as of now he is not hanging on the cross neither is he suffering in the hell now where is jesus now he, it is he is jesus he is sitting at the right hand of the father and the most powerful position remember now jesus is not on the cross neither is he in the hell he is sitting at the right hand of father jesus is not going to die every year it is one time achievement the greatest achievement of all time the history of the universe it's a one time incident that happened that jesus died and rose again from the dead don't think that jesus is dying every year jesus is resurrecting every year jesus died once and he is alive for ever more where is jesus now he is sitting at the right hand of the father in a powerful position the most powerful position see let's uh, briefly see what happened after they buried jesus christ after the death of christ on the cross they went and buried according to god's word let let me give you one reference from bible let's go to matthew chapter 12 verse 40 for just as jonah was 3 days and 3 nights in the belly of the great fish so will the son of man be 3 days and 3 nights in the heart of the earth this is the prophecy that jesus himself is speaking about that what's going to happen after his death jesus had to be there according to this verse jesus had to be there in the heart of the earth for 3 days and 3 nights just like how jonah was there in the belly of the fish for 3 days and 3 nights this has to happen so many people think that jesus christ went to heaven went to the paradise as soon as he died many people don't believe that jesus went to the heart of the earth what what do you mean by jesus went to heart of the earth it means what is there in the heart of the earth heart of the earth is referring to hell jesus went to hell remember that jesus died for every human being sin the punishment of all the sins of all human race everything was put on jesus the wages of sin is death and jesus died everybody who dies has to wind up in hell death and hell they are like twins they go together jesus died and because he died he has to go to hell and he went and suffered in hell for 3 days and 3 nights many people don't believe that jesus went to hell actually speaking according to god's word he has to go to hell because sin deserves punishment in the sight of god sin has to be punished god is just he is a righteous judge of all in his sight in the sight of god sin has to be punished the wrath of god against sin has to be pacified who is going to pacify the wrath of god 
Jesus. Jesus went to hell for our sake. He went to hell and he suffered in hell for three days and three nights. So that we will not go to hell. He spared us from going to hell. Remember whatever, Jesus, whatever happened to Jesus. It's not going to happen to us. If Jesus has already suffered in the hell. That means you and I are not going to suffer in hell. Because he has already paid the full penalty for our sins. He took all the punishment. See the wages of sin is death. Death is the ultimate punishment for sin. He tasted death for all of us. And after death, ev no, everybody who has sinned has to wind up in hell. And hell is not going to release anyone. See, starting from Adam to everyone down to G till Jesus Christ. Devil. Imagine, just I want to give you a picture what happened that day. When Jesus was suffering in the hell. He, uh, he, he died on the cross. Now he went to hell. Devil is there in the hell. And all his cohorts, angels, his angels, all of them are in hell. And they are having party. When Jesus is suffering the hell and devil is having party. Oh, we conquered the king of kings and he is in the hell. And they are all enjoying. Remember, devil is a ruthless fellow. He likes to see when people suffer. When people suffer, he enjoys. He is very cruel and ruthless and heartless fellow. The mercy, he, he doesn't show mercy on anyone. Because it's not there in him. When Jesus was suffering in the hell, they were all having party. Thinking that they have conquered the king of kings. Devil thought that, oh, we got Jesus. Eh? He is going to live in hell forever and ever. Because the devil hasn't seen anybody coming out of death. Nobody ever came out of death. Nobody ever raised from the dead. But after when devil is having all this party in the hell. And when Jesus is suffering there. After the three days and three nights. A voice is heard in the hell. Whose voice is that? God the Father is speaking. What is he saying? The voice of God the Father is heard in the hell. And Jesus is suffering. This is what God the Father said there. Let's turn uh, our text to Psalm. Psalm 2 verse 7. I will declare the decree. The Lord has said unto me. Thou art my son. This day have I begotten thee. This is speaking about that Jesus go, God is going to raise Jesus from the dead. This voice of God the Father is heard in hell. Jesus heard this. God the Father is speaking this verse about our Lord Jesus Christ. He is telling to Jesus, Thou art my son, this day have I begotten thee. When God the Father released his words, when this voice is heard in the hell, Jesus rose from the dead. These devil saw the resurrection of Jesus. Because devil hasn't seen anybody rising from the dead. It struck devil big time the dominion of devil collapsed here when he saw Jesus raising from the dead the devil was all struck there that is the most tragic moment in the life of the devil well I enjoy preaching this remember how devil would have felt there when Jesus rose from the dead he must be a most miserable person ever on the earth because he didn't know that Jesus is going to be raised from the dead like this. He thought that he conquered the king of kings. He, he thought that he conquered Jesus. He thought that Jesus is captive under him. No. God the father had better plan than the devil. God the father raised Jesus from the dead. This is what Jesus did for us before he ascended into heaven. There is one more verse in Ephesians. Let's turn to Ephesians 4 verse 8 to 10. Wherefore he saith, when he ascended up on high, he led captivity captive. What is that uh, verse that captivity captive? In Adam everybody died. In Adam everybody, the death ruled over everyone. 
एवरी वन वॉज कैप्टिव टू डेथ इन एडम बिकॉज एडम ट्रांसक्रस्ट इन एडम एवरीबडी डाइड बट जी एवरी वन एवरी वन वॉज कैप्टिव टू डेथ एंड हेल एंड दिस इज वॉट द जीजस इज गो इज गिविंग दम रिलीज Jesus is releasing those people he led the captivity captive he released all the people starting from adam and everybody who believed in god the father in the old testament till jesus jesus set everybody free without jesus nobody can make it to god the father jesus is the only way the truth and the life in him there is everything jesus conquered hell and death Nobody has ever done this before any time. He is the first fruit of resurrection. The devil was totally surprised on that day. On that day he lost all his powers. He lost all his dominion. Jesus Christ dethroned him from the throne of Adam and gained back everything. Resurrection is the ultimate victory. started all the way it started in getsemane and the victory was completed in the resurrection if jesus had has not resurrected then uh, we cannot preach faith resurrection is the ultimate victory because this is what is very important that jesus conquered over death nobody has ever done this before jesus is the first to do and there's one more verse i want to give because this the resurrection of jesus is going to benefit us big time because in his resurrection we are all going to resurrect see there is one verse in corinthians many people use it in different way but uh, i want to show actually what this verse is speaking about let's go to first corinthians 15 that is the resurrection chapter the whole chapter is speaking about the resurrection i want to get into the last uh, few verses there let's go to first corinthians 15 verse 55 oh death where is thy sting oh grave where is your victory The sting of death is sin and the strength of the sin is the law but thanks be to God who giveth us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ what is the victory that you are going to have through our Lord Jesus Christ actually this verse many people used to conquer sickness and disease and to live after that so that they won't die through sickness and disease although you can use this verse for that to overcome sickness and disease but actually this verse is speaking about our physical death even though people may receive healing one or the other day every when we finish our task on this earth we have to die this body according to this you have to die even if you live up to 120 years still everybody has to die but what is going to happen after we die because the life that we are going to live on the earth is very short when it is compared to eternity man is a spirit being he is an eternal being jesus christ has secured our future eternally eternally we are secured see let's see what happened let's uh, go back little more up in the same chapter verse 53 for this corruptible must put on in corruption talking about our mortal body so our physical body and uh, this mortal must put on immortality i mean this body what we are having is going to it's a mortal body now and it is going to put immortality after we leave this body after our spirit slips uh, out of our body and go to Jesus this is what is going to happen and verse 54 so when this corruptible shall have put on incorruption and this mortal shall have put on immortality then shall be brought to pass the saying that's written death is swallowed up in victory people think that when we die oh it's all over it's gone people think it is sad but not for christians but not for everybody who believes in our lord jesus christ after we finish our course on this earth then when we leave this earth death is swallowed up in victory it's a victory thing we this mortal is going to put on immortality this body is corruptible body is going to put on incorruption 
we are not going to hell that's the great news even if we die it's a victory that's what the paul is telling resurrection is the very very important doctrine in the bible this body even if we die it's still a victory thing death is swallowed up in victory because even if we die devil will not have any authority over us still jesus is lord over us wow how could all this happen it's because jesus conquered hell and death let's read one more verse from uh, the same chapter chapter 1st corinthian 15 and we'll read verse 20 but now as things really are christ has in fact been raised from the dead and he became the first fruits that is the first to be resurrected with an incorruptible immortal body foreshadowing the resurrection of those who have fallen asleep in death it's a foreshadow in the resurrection of jesus christ we have our resurrection in the future this is very very important thing see no matter what people fear to die according to the scripture you don't have to fear to die because your your spirit and your soul your body is every on everything jesus is controlling over you jesus has dominion over you devil has no authority over you even if we die you have to be shouting there is praise in heaven death is swallowed up in victory when i am preaching this message i am not saying that uh, you have to die early you have to finish your job the task which god has assigned you you have to finish that task but when it's time for us to leave you don't have to fear about our future we don't have to whine or think of worry and fear about where we are going to wind up a future is going to be glorious even in heaven heaven is a much much better place than the earth but still we have to finish our course on this earth so what i am trying to focus on today is jesus has conquered hell and death but he did not do this for anyone he did this for us he did not do for himself he did this for us his resurrection is our resurrection I want to read one more verse from Revelation and close this for today. Revelation chapter 1 verse 18. I am he that liveth and was dead and behold I am alive forevermore. Amen and have the keys of hell and death. Oh our Lord Jesus Christ has the keys of hell and death. So we don't have to worry about and fear and live here we can live confidently on the earth we can live every day of our life without any fear because jesus is lord over us and he won't let us die before time everybody who believes in jesus nobody is going to die before time because jesus is lord over us and our eternal home is secured already see if god has taken care of us eternally so much and he made all these plans redemption plan for us and blessing us even on the earth and taking care of our future eternally forever and ever don't you think that god will do the things that what you need on this life don't you think that he will provide and take care of you with everything that you need so you don't have to live in fear because our lord jesus christ has conquered hell and death not for himself he did this for us so we have to be rejoicing this resurrection is the day of victory is the day to celebrate oh i don't have to fear about anything because ultimately people fear about death when you read the scripture you will never fear about death because you you're not going to die before time you're going to finish your task and after that we are going to see our lord jesus christ face to face it's a glorious thing celebrate uh, resurrection of our lord jesus christ thank you so much for listening to this message and god bless you next week we will be studying about the promotion comes from the lord thank you so much once again god bless you and jesus christ is coming soon